can't remember the last time I'd had this before I bought the six pack. I know I have purchased it at some point, and uh, I guess I shouldn't get into it too much. No, let's not. Because <laughs> I, I, have, I, I've, I've I've held, was already about to start throwing out uh, my I've held back my memories too, so. and different yeah. things like that. So yeah. we, we probably should just get into it. It's been Jump a while. Right in. I can't remember the last time we've sat down. It's been uh, it's been a little quiet on the site. Yeah, lately, it has been but, probably uh, a little quiet. But we have some things to announce. Not quite today, but some exciting things in the next few weeks that we will uh, get happening. to announce not only at the site, but also around around the site in the world of aboutbeverages.com. Yes. So we'll have a few things to talk about there uh, yeah. coming up soon. But for today and for the next uh, few shows, we've got uh, some IPAs, some Imperial IPAs. And today we even have a uh, little glassware. It's a, a new glass. A new That's glass. Right. And it's uh, all of that for this uh, Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are aboutbeverages.com. And the beverage we are about today, well, it's more specific. Well, I guess it's a beverage, too, because we've never done this on, on the... No, we haven't. But, we, but we're about more than just a beverage today. We're about the beverage, which is the 60-minute IPA from Dogfish Head. And then specifically, the glassware is their uh, new IPA glass that they just came out with. Um, actually, in conjunction with, it was, I think we may have even referenced this on a previous podcast, um, the Sam from Dogfish Head and Sierra Nevada. Sierra Nevada. I think it's Ken. You know, I'm honestly not positive. We'll have to check. We will they, check. They did uh, a lot of blind tasting. They had a lot of different styles of glasses. And uh, uh, from what I read, supposedly they both um, picked this one independently of each other. Yeah. That picked was this a particular style as a glass for to drink an IPA from. And it's cool because you can either at Dogfish's website or at Sierra Nevada's website, you can pick up these glasses with either of their logos. And then I forget, what's the name of the uh, manufacturer of the glass? It's actually etched or written on the bottom. Oh, is it? Spiegelau, okay. I believe. If you see, if you look at oh, it. Oh, you you can. You're right. And But it's Spie backwards, though. Spiegelau? Sp Spiegelau? Yes. Sp Spiegelau. Spiegelau. Let's go, with, let's go with that. Apologize if that's wrong. The, uh, yeah, they <laughs> will do that. But you can also get them directly at their website soon yeah that they was were, and and the link i don't know at sierra nevada the link did not work when i tried so that's why I yeah went it was kind of on and off that's that's so, right okay well it may be up again because you had tried it and it worked and then like the day or two later i was trying it and it didn't work so i just went ahead and went with uh uh had uh, went with dogfish head and these were shipped from delaware they did an, an excellent job packing them yeah uh very securely wrapped and um they, and they uh, they arrived in four pieces because I ordered four. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> so that's good. Are you glad you didn't order one? Four, yeah. Then it would have been bad. <laughs> or one got four, four pieces. Not, so I've, not so good. So I'm giving one to Andrew, and I gave one to uh, Eric Gasson, friend of the show. And uh, so we're going to do a little comparison. We're going to try the 60-minute the in the Dogfish IPA glass and in just in their standard ale yeah, glass. Yeah, which is actually also glasses that I have ordered from their website as well, and they ship, to, ship good. So that's... Two, two times that it worked out well. Well, the thing that made it, I think, even more impressive, and you've noticed this kind of right off the bat, is this glass is very light. Yeah, it, it very is. thin. It is. It's, it reminds me of some of the more delicate, like, wine glasses yeah. that I have. Very light. Uh, not, not like, I mean... Well, a little bit. Like I feel I could crush this in my hand if I really if I really desire to. I think so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if yeah. the desire was there, I yeah. could do it. But yeah, like I said, especially compared to it just doesn't have as much on the bottom. Like my dogfish glasses have like a really heavy, heavy lump of glass at the bottom. But yeah. But yeah. Just even thinner. You can see just by looking at that, just the, the actual Oh, thickness, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, All is, the way is around. different. But uh, so we're gonna try. I've actually had the, the full disclosure, I've actually had the 60-minute out of this glass, so that's why Andrew will predominantly be using that one. And, uh, but yeah. So we'll I know. I'm very a little, little comparison. 60-minute IPA, obviously, as the name implies, and uh, most people that are familiar with Dogfish know, it's continuously hopped for 60 minutes. Right. They've got a 60, a 90, and a 120. The 120 is extremely pricey, but worth every penny. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> I, th a, I think. It's, it's almost a, like a... That I mean, needs it's, a, it's, I, it's like a after dinner drink cognac kind of thing. It's so heavy and syrupy, but I, I love it. It needs a glass all its own, actually. It's in a glass all its own. <laughs> it is. We need a, they need the 120 IPA glass that's specifically for that. But yeah, no, that you can just pour in a snifter or something. And you could pour that. And, and I think that. he actually recommends that. Okay. Yeah, that's, yeah. And especially at the alcohol content on that one, that's not one that you just, no. <laughs> and the price. You don't yeah, just throw that one back. Anywhere from fifteen to eighteen and a half percent. Yeah, that is not a that's not a that's a session beer. So this is six <laughs> uh, six percent alcohol, and I I believe this is nine ninety nine ish. It's about ten bucks for six. Yeah, anywhere from ten. Yeah, nine to anywhere from ten to eleven bucks for the six pack. I've and, seen it. Yeah, because their ninety minute is sold in a four pack, and it's usually like eleven 
dollars. It's usually like a dollar like more. Yeah, for four. Um, but anyway, so they, this is their. I think this is where it all started for them, right? Or yeah, I, th- I believe so. It's got to be. On? That'd be great if we could get. Do they follow us at all? Uh, you know what? I don't know if they do. We follow them. Okay. They need to. Maybe after this. That's right. There will We're be trying their there glasses. Will be following. Yeah. We do well. We we've made no secret of it. We love overall. There are some yeah. that we don't like. Uh, that I think just the aren't only our favorites, but right. I think the only thing with with them, and I appreciate that they're out there doing it, is they do a lot of the stuff where like it's not quite beer. Yeah. And if you're into that, that's awesome. But like for me, I get excited as soon as they're doing something that's at least ninety percent beer. Yeah. There's some other stuff that they've done that we've had where it's like what was it we had the the Tweezin ale Tweezin which ale. was the strawberry uh, or something which or? was the best uh, gluten free beer oh that's right I think that we've ever had but that's again right. you know not you know not big yeah. for us and I've had some other ones from them too where they've just done stuff and it's you know those different kind of styles that are like oh we found this Middle Eastern oh, yeah, concoction the... that's almost like a beer and it's like yeah. well but I don't know. Right, so there was they're, the they're good, for, I guess, for what they are, just not as things that I completely appreciate. Yeah, but we love the or I, the Maya Antonia, which is the their Maya lager, actually, right? Yeah, it is, and that's, that one's that's really delicious. good. Delicious, and uh, um, I love the, the ninety the, and the one twenty are, are great, yeah. and uh, the worldwide stout is good too. It's just you know a super expensive one. And we had the seventy five minute too in the the bar. Yeah. That was that, that was good. That was good. So, yeah. Anyway, all right. Oh, and um, yeah, the. Bitches Brew. We've had oh, yeah. from them, we actually. Do, yeah. Okay. <laughs> kind of... I'm almost getting, actually, two different colors here in this glass. I've got, at the bottom, at the base, it's uh, very almost cloudy yellow, and the upper part looks more orange, if you hold it up in the light like that. Do you want to... And yours looks check completely look orange. Up. Yeah. But check that out if you actually hold that in the light. Yeah. Right where it sort of gets wider there. Right, right where it gets, gets wider. wider. Yeah. yeah. Carbonation's really tight in the center there, too. Mm-hmm. Almost a little, little cloud. Not really hanging. It's not even really going toward the sides. It's almost like a column right in the middle of bubbles. Now, see, look. Going look, straight look, look up. Look at it in this one, though. Oh, it's completely on the sides of the glass. Yeah. So huh. The difference in, in the way the carbonation Definitely is. Definitely huge difference. I mean, and it's... Displayed. Yeah. It's like almost straight up and down right in the middle, right in the center there. To do this. Difficult to do the swirl. There we go. Had to get the right motion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Counterclockwise swirl. There's a knuckle involved. <laughs> That's my move. That's my move. Nice lemon herbal little... Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, just compare. <laughs> I jumped out there too That's quickly. Right. Sorry. I should have should have kept my mouth shut. There's a little bit more citrusy. I get, I get more citrusy in this from one. That, yeah. This one's a little more just kind of everything blending together. Yeah, a little flatter. A little more even, a little more, yeah, a little more. Still getting different flavors, but it's a very small spike, whereas this is, you're getting more spikes of yeah. the fruit. It definitely uh, is capturing in that bowl, capturing those yeah. aromas and then allowing them to come out a little bit, uh, a little bit more concentrated then. <laughs> Go to take a sip, it'll just break on my lips. Yeah, watch that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm down to, yeah, I only have one left. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've had three beers. Yeah. There's definitely a difference. I agree. There actually is quite a difference. I am very, I'm very surprised. I'm usually kind of skeptical of this stuff. But there's actually a pretty strong difference. And I think I think anyone that's someone that considers themselves a, a slight beer connoisseur or or you know someone that enjoys wow some of the you know different things like this, I think you'll notice a difference. I think because it had been so long since I'd had it, I couldn't really remember what it tasted like, and it's always better side by side. It would have been even better to well someday to do them blind, see which one you if yeah you know see if you could pick it out which one was which. But there's definitely a difference in that. Um, this you know this one to me is more just like kind of with the aroma it's just flatter it's just more mm-hmm. one even sort of I get a little taste. more of the malt first in this yeah. one yeah it's, it's heavier a little sweet yeah it is it actually is a little more heavier a little more malt whereas this one I think the, the lemon that the citrus from the, the hops or whatever is coming through there it seems to come through a little bit more yeah and it's a little maybe a little creamier almost it's not as heavy it's more of like a light 
kind of it, cream. There's almost it has that sort of not the metallic. I mean, I guess it is an East Coast IPA, so it has that sort of. Yeah, there's a little bit of that. That metallic, whatever that sulfate or whatever that is from that. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a difference. I, I, overall, I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of this IPA. No, it's just a little. It's just a little plain. Yeah, and, and, and especially too for calling it. And, and you know, this is one that they've. You know, you can tell that maybe almost the times have almost passed this one by a little bit in a way. If that makes sense, you know, when they started making this, I, you know, I honestly don't know when they started, but we'll have a link to their website about beverages.com if you're curious to find out. The early 90s, um, I believe. Is I that right? I saw something, uh, 92 or 93, I okay. think he said, yeah. So, you know, at that time, this was probably pretty hoppy. But, you know, everyone, as we've always talked about, even on this show, our palates have changed. Everyone's palates, and you start right. to shift depending on certain things you like, so you're more in tune with, you know, certain flavors. To me, this is almost, if you gave this to me, I'd say that's a really good pale ale. Because it's a little lighter. Yeah. There's some nice citrus notes in there, but it's not hitting you over the head. Like, that's something that I would expect to be even a little more close to sessionable. And I'm going to enjoy, like, three or four of those during the summer or something like that. Yeah. Obviously, you know, price-wise, that might not be what you'd want to do for right. some. Right, But, you know, in general, that's the flavor profile I would get out of that, not an IPA. Yeah. But it's, I mean, it's not really dry. It's, I no. mean, it's got it's got good flavors. I would just want a little more flavor and yeah. dogfish, especially now, that's kind of what they're known for. Yeah. So I think that's just what's what's missing. But yeah, and and, once, and you know there it's are different starter. styles. It's a different like sort of east. You know, it's got that. Mm -hmm. It is more typical of what you find from East Coast breweries. That's true. Um, and that could be a lot of different things that they're going for that, or it could be water quality, uh, water mm -hmm. you know type of water on that 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 is found and that is used, or um, but. Yeah, and it's not like there's anything wrong with it. It's just like I'm going to go for something that you know wows me a little bit more. It might be a good, and again, it's may, might be a little hard to discern since we were just talking about how palate shift. Would this be like kind of like a good starter? Like someone's never had an IPA before. I kind of like pale ale sometimes. I usually don't want to go too crazy. Could you give that one as a starter? Would that be smooth enough? Because it's not really super bitter to me at all. There's some no. nice flavors in there, but too much. Well, you know, just for me, just because of my particular feelings about it, I, I it, it's kind of like if you recommend something or, here, hmm. try this, then you don't want to give it to somebody and then have them say, oh, you know, I really didn't like that. And you go, yeah, you know, it's really not one of my favorites either. Right. And it's really not hmm. one that, uh, you know, it's it's kind of, it's kind of, yeah. I, I know what you're getting at and I see that, but I would. So what would you, like, do you. Uh, starter IPA? Well, that's kind of what I mean. You know what I mean? Because things that we would say, oh, that is delicious. Wow. You know, they're probably going to be a little more bitter. They're going to be a little more powerful. So then nothing that I would initially gravitate yeah. toward is going to be what I would initially offer someone if they're like, yeah, because it's so hard. Like, I get that question a lot, not only because of the website, but just even at work because we're always talking about, you know, beverages and things like that. And you get the question, I'm going to get a beer. That, you know, when should I get a beer? And it's like, you know, your yeah. guys are asking you that normally just enjoy a Miller or something like that yeah. or a Budweiser. And yeah. they're like, yeah, I want to try something different. Recommend a beer. And I'm like, I, it's almost like deer in the headlights. I'm like, I, I don't, I have no idea. Like, cause you know, what I would want to recommend is going to be way too strong for you. So then I, you know, it's almost like, I'm like, have you tried blue moon? Have you tried, you know, yeah. you know, you kind of like, you try and lower that bar of like, what did I either used to kind of appreciate or do I, where do I know is not like offensive, but at least I can slowly step them up to get, you know, actually that'd be a good somewhere like, you know, like a, like a lot of Sam Adams stuff is kind of good to recommend. I know. Yeah. You know, like I said, yeah, I appreciate what he does too, but you know, we kind of bag on that where we always want a little more. Right. In fact, there was something, I can't remember what the name of it was, but there was something I saw in the store the other day and I almost bought it. And then I was like, no, Sam Adams is going to screw me again <laughs> and they're not going to give me all the flavor that I want. Well, cause it, no, it was something, it was like, a stout. it was a stout. It was aged in bourbon barrels. I was like, oh, this sounds awesome. I was like, no, every time I read this stuff from Sam Adams, it's always consistent that it's, you know, it's, you know, smooth enough. There's some flavors there, but it never goes far enough. Like they never hit that point. And I was just like, you've tricked me for the last time. And I, I didn't uh -oh, get it. Cause I it was still have that sour, that Stony Brook red oh. <laughs> sour. I didn't bring that over cause it was a bigger bottle. And I thought I'd shared that for a, a waste, wait for another time. To Maybe that's that, the one that finally, that finally does it. Like I said, this know. one, cause this was one of the more, even more premium ones. It was in a different bottle. It wasn't from that. Okay whatever that voyage series oh, yeah. they're doing. Uh, it was yeah. something completely different. It was like 10 or 12 bucks. I was like, you are not going to fool me on this one. 
Fool me four times, Sam Adams. Yeah, that's about how I feel sometimes. <laughs> Fool me ten times, shame on me. But actually, that's probably a good call to pick Sam Adams uh, with some of those, like their, um, you know, their uh, Latitude 48 mm-hmm. or something like right. that. There was an article, and I can't remember if it was something Eric forwarded to me or if I read it myself, but it actually it was a guy who actually had thought this out of taking people from Bud and Miller and things oh. like that and what he recommended. And... I may still have it. I'll have to. I'll have to check that out. If you if have we, that, we'll, we'll find it. We'll put a link up to it, or I'll have Eric uh, send me that okay. article. Um, and may, Definitely it, get a link did, to did that. Did you read the one that he sent me about uh, Northwest? And we don't call it craft beer in the Northwest. We just call it beer. Yeah, it's just beer. It, it, it that, that was that was the whole one about that. We're that it's winning or whatever. Right, the craft beer did is, it go, is winning. Okay, then it wasn't that one. There was no. another one, and the that guy was a great article. And too. the guy recommended. Uh, uh, I thought he said he read, like victory pills or truma pill. It may have been victory pilsner, um, which I've actually ha- have had, but it's, I don't think it's available in Tucson. Okay. Um, so, but that that would be a great actually thing to do. In fact, actually, that might be something to think about for our other endeavor. Oh yeah, uh-huh. that would be actually that that would be a very good take idea. People. The thing we can't talk about just yet. But getting back to IPAs, I w- I would think of something either like a pale ale. And then take them from a, a mild pale ale to an IPA. Kind of that's what happened with you. Remember with the Mighty Arrow? Yeah, that was your true. first sort of thing that you liked. That was a pale ale, but actually had a little bit of the citrusy mm. note, um, or something mild like the Mission Street. I think pa- IPA. So. Anyway, but well, awesome. I think There's we've a, covered it all. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think we have. Yeah. Uh, definitely uh, head on over to the uh, website at aboutbeverages.com and uh, check out the tasting notes for. Not only kind of the uh, 60 minute from Dogfish here, but also a little. There'll be some little notes about what the differences were between these two glasses, and I, I recommend if you. It's it sounds silly, but if you're someone that does enjoy, you know, just sitting there enjoying what the flavors beer or whatever you may be drinking to offer, I, I recommend buying one of the, you know a couple it, of these or something. I think like it that. makes a difference. You well, know? I mentioned that one time to you that I had had a glass of wine like to start out. And then I had a I had an IPA or a pale ale, and I just I was like I don't want to wash another glass, so I poured it in my my kind of like taller wine glass. Mm-hmm. I thought it was great out of there. Yeah, similar to you this, s- you but see just, a lot of but just a little bigger. Yeah, but s- similar overall shape. So you see a lot of that. I mean, like I said, with the tulip glasses, the brandy snifter, it's you know a lot of the craft beer stuff. That's where they're heading, and they want you know the flavors yep. to come out and be enveloped in a certain way around around the glass. So yep, yeah, all right. I, I can't think of anything Check else at the moment. We Check. we do. Uh, I guess we should announce, which uh, you've probably seen in uh, the post, though. Our next full podcast, kombucha, kombucha. All kombucha. right, kombucha, kombucha. Who was the winner? All right, we got to start working on that. Winner. So we got to start uh, getting that together, and we may even have Eric a, wants to join us. For may that. even have a another uh, three piece on that one. Three we may be a uh, oh, threesome. Uh, yeah, we may have a threesome. A we may have a three piece. We may be a little more <laughs> three piece. I can't think of any three. Uh, we may be a, a green day. Could be a three piece that way. Or, okay. All or right. so I couldn't think of any other bands that had three off the top of my a trio. Head. Uh, power trio. But whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot.